whenever you feel like you're watching something happen in slow motion, uh, you can probably guarantee in real life it's probably uh, the outcome will not be good. <laughs> in movies, you'll see it and it's slow motion because you're seeing something cool or neat, but in real life, it uh, tends to be more of a bad outcome. Uh, this is a story about the time I got in a car accident because I didn't want to spend full price on a movie. Uh, my story starts just after graduating high school, and uh, that was at Windsor Hills Baptist School. Funny, uh, this is the Bible Belt. So. Um, it's next year will be my 10 year anniversary graduating. I can't believe it already. But uh, this church was really strict. Um, uh, clothing wise, girls were not allowed to wear pants. The skirt had to be two inches below the knee. Uh, the shirt couldn't be lower than two fingers below your collarbone. Uh, we could wear short sleeves and we're like um, Pentecostal or anything like that. but. It was strict, just to give you an idea. So, uh, I met Addie in high school. I wasn't friends with her originally. Um, a friend of hers was Heather in class. We became friends after I graduated. But during our senior year, Addie had been expelled uh, from our private school because she and a boy named Nick um, were sneaking off to make out, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you wouldn't think that was a big deal you know, nowadays, but it's huge in a private school like that, you know, you have a six inch rule. And um, after she was expelled, when she went to church, people treated her like the plague. And um, because no one from school is allowed to talk to her anymore at that point, because uh, the church and the school were the same. It was all one big group. And uh, I didn't believe that she was treated well. I didn't think that was a big deal. Um, we're teenagers, for goodness sakes, <laughs> you know. But uh, after we graduated, I went ahead and reached out to her, and we became really good friends. One day, though, um, we decided to go see a movie. So I was driving. It was dark. It was raining, like today. And um, I reached about 63rd and May. I don't know if you have ever been to North Park. Um, that's the Dollar Theater I was heading towards. And... Um, it was raining, but I, we didn't think anything of it. You know, we're listening to the radio, we're ch chatting along, not anything big. Um, but when I reached that intersection, the light turned yellow. I thought I had plenty of time, so I just continued to go. <laughs> um, but that was a bad misjudgment on my part. And I was, you know, 18, so still, you know, a couple years into driving. This is when everything goes into slow motion for me. So I noticed the car to my right start to move. I realized at that moment I wasn't going to make it. So I braked. I moved my arm across Addie to brace her for impact, <laughs> pretty much. And we collided with the car. So the lady got out of her car and asked us through the passenger window if we were OK. Um, I said, yes, I think. I have no idea, because I was in a fog. <laughs> But uh, despite being in shock, I was able to find my emergency lights, turn them on, and everything. Um, but that was the only kind thing that she said to me. That was it. <laughs> she started proceeding to yell at me now for running the red light. Um, I just thought the intersection wasn't going to be as wide, but if you've been there, it's a very big intersection. <laughs> And the whole situation was overwhelming. I started to cry, of course, and because I knew deep down inside it was my fault. So the police arrived. I called my dad. We stood in the rain getting soaked. I accepted fault with my insurance company, which I work for an insurance company now, and uh, wanted the night to be over. That was the night I spent more money than I ever wanted to, all because I didn't want to pay full price for a movie. Now I just watch them online. 